The United States is probably the best country in Overwatch for Millennium Dawn. I mean, they have a powerful army, they probably have the best air force in the entire world, and they have an economy that, well, it hasn't collapsed yet. <laughs> So today, I'm going to be playing as Brazil, and we're going to see if Brazil can defeat the United States. Now, you might be wondering why Brazil of all countries, I mean, they're stronger out there, and yet you'd be right. Well, there's two reasons. One is that Brazil is the next country in my Hoi for Money Dawn A to Z series. But more importantly, this country has a benefit that other superpowers in the world just don't have, and it's the fact that we live on the same continent as the United States. We don't have to deal with that fat navy of theirs. Losing 12 billion a week, holy f We're in a recession, I imagine fixing that would help a lot. Also, old people are being funded way too much, 14 billion dollars. They don't even deserve a penny. One of the beautiful things about Brazil here is that we have we have a massive focus tree. Okay, this focus tree, it's it's big, dude. I mean, I'd imagine out of this entire, this entire thing, it might be one good focus, right? Negative eight civilian factories can be used for trade. <laughs> Negative okay, dude. How do you get a negative civilian factory? I don't I don't know how that math works Brazil looks like I have ways to uh, Steal money from other countries. Well, not really steal money from them, but they give me money. I might need that Dude, this is not what I need right now. I'm trying to fix it. I Please don't be a depression Really dude? They just made me do that. Oh my god. Okay, so stagnation did not help the economy as much as I thought it would. We're still losing a decent amount of money. Might have to come at a cost of a certain demographic in my country then. Oh my god. It's a focus that removes Joker. That can't be. It's impossible. Oh hey, we can ask for a bill. It's now we're that fucking lost. Yeah, don't ask me why Bulgaria is on that list of old people. I, I frankly could not tell you. I'm hoping the US gives me a bailout here because I cutting that down by 300 billion would be pretty useful. Hey, that's what we're talking about. There we go. George Bush is finally being the hero in one game. Like, thank God. I, I say that, but we're, we're probably going to be killing this guy in some amount of time. I don't know. I don't know what year we're going to be able to do it. So I kind of forgot that this was going to happen. The 2002 elections. I mean, this election is kind of like that one meme. I mean, Sarah's looks like the bald dude with the glasses. And then you look over and you see the big Giga Chad Lula. I'm not basing it based on the political police. I'm based on the fact that there seems to be a lot more industry-related stuff with Lula. And also because he's not as bald as Sarah, so... Um, you know what? Since Lula was such a chad, he gave us so much political power. Boom! Profit, baby. Oh, it's not... Oh, Lula is such a chad. We get to dig resources too, dude. They got we didn't go with bald Sarah, the freaking... I don't know. What, what should I call him? Should I be one of those people and call him a beta male? <laughs> You know, guys, what's a new leader without new crimes against humanity? That's right, we're starting to do our own trail of tears. I don't see any benefit, really. But, uh, we're doing it. Yeah! Alrighty, Argentinian Putin. It is time for you to get the boot in. Oh! That's what we're talking about. Completely nerded on. Do I get their income? Probably not, because they're a really high-ranked puppet. But I do get them in the future when I form South America. You see, this is why we went with Giga Chad Lula, baby. Look at these civilian factories, these tax increases. Dude, they're all helping me and not the uh, lower class. That's exactly what we wanted. Well, now I think of it, isn't that the opposite of socialism? Bah! Who cares? Wow. One little corruption change increased my income by 1.6 billion. Corruption really does take a toll on you. Like, I'm not even kidding. Also, if I could somehow find a way to increase this economic cycle, that would be big too. There we go. We lowered it again. Five billion income, dude. That's insane. See, this is why I have to take out the United States, guys. Look at, look at, look at this. Warmongering Bush back at it again. This is why someone needs to put a leash on that boy's neck. Since I feel extra kind today, I, I gave the elderly some of their funding back. I'm gonna be nice today and let some old people live. Nice kind act from your man Mean Bean, okay? I guarantee you by next episode, I will be once again giving them minimal substance subsidies. Oh my god. What are you doing, you Bush? We don't need a better Benghazi in this world too. We already have one on our own. Stay out. What the heck? Today I'm putting my foot down on the line and I'm gonna go on the front lines and stop this. Or I'm just gonna get rolled over and completely decimated. That, that might happen too. Oh hey. I don't know if you saw that before this rudely interrupted me. Um, Bush ain't there anymore. It's now Al Gore.
So, uh, yeah, I guess we're not gonna be stomping on the bush anymore. We're gonna have to make Al Gore big gory. All right, we got Columbia in our fold. That's a big W. And he's got a hairline. Let's go! Hey, look at that. George Bush or whoever the heck's president anymore. They are inside Iraq. Now I just need a little bit of PP pee -pee and we can hopefully get our first war goal. You know, if, if this doesn't dip to 34% in the next week. Well, hopefully stuff like this will stop that, uh, Libyan financial collapses and civil wars. What the hell is happening? <laughs> and, uh, there we go. That's a war goal, baby. Finally, the first one of the game. You know, Al Gore, you're a little bitch ass. Like, why, why would you do that? What was the purpose of doing that? It's like, it's like the game knows that my, my angles defeat you. So you're, you're, uh, you're going out of your way to freck me over, dude. Oh, oh, that's actually awesome. Might have to do that real quick. You see, I, I, I'm just gonna take a slight guess and say that you're not really prepared for this. I just need to see what happens. Let's go. And yeah, that will be done in like, I don't know, five seconds. Drop kicking the toddler part 1000 electric boogaloo. Oh God. <laughs> that might be, oh. Well, so in SFW, the bloody game crew. You know, I really hate to do it again, but I, you leave me no choice, game. This is just so in SFW, it's not even funny. Well, there you go. Now Ecuador is a fancy purple color. Look at that. See, that, that makes you so much better. You were like some disgusting brown before, I think. Now you're a badass purple. Yes, let's go. War justification complete, baby. This is what we're talking about. I mean, we, we have bigger templates guaranteed. I mean, Peru doesn't have the manpower for the templates. I, but it's probably also partially because of these massive bombing planes. I mean, yeah, we're probably doing massive bomb damage. I don't even know what they're doing. They're screaming and crying. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay, so apparently there was no bombing damage. Um, my, my bombers were uh, over here in the wrong air zone that no one's fighting. And oh, look at, oh my God. Instant like 12 attack, Jesus, dude. No, ideally we want these victories to happen against the United States. They have like an air force of 5,000 planes. That ain't gonna be easy. You know, I, I really think I'm getting off too easy at this point. I mean, I'm just bullying little countries at this point. Eventually this is all gonna go away, okay? I am being humbled. I'm going to get too complacent because of how easy all these wars are. And I'm going to literally eat rocks when I get to the actual main event of this video. Alrighty, I'm worried it might be a little too soon yet because of the fact I've done two wars already. But we're going to try just fine on Bolivia because I want to speed this up. Uh, but obviously if they... Yeah, see that? That's not going to work. Dude, I just... I just puppeted you. Why? You know, I, I might as well just see if I can try to coup them. Oh, look at that 89% chance of... Damn, I didn't expect it to be that high. I guess we're just that wicked here in Brazil. We're that cool. Why did my puppet decrease my influence? Dude, you realize you're my puppet. We want them on my side. You're on the same team as me. Why you... I don't get the AI, man. I... I, I All right, we're going to take Brazil to some clean, nice, fresh energy. We're not going to smoke land. Smoke land is good when you're a miner because oil is quite nice when your economy sucks balls. What the heck? So, so I'm, I'm the aggressor. I'm the one the world has to be afraid of. Not you for doing stuff like this. You're a saint. Alrighty, looks like the world's gonna let me intervene down in Chile here. It's, I, I only had to wait two years and you know, it's just casual things. Ah, there we go. Bonk. Yeah, obviously this isn't even gonna be that close of a, of a, of a war. Like, <laughs> you got the skinny little nation fighting the two biggest countries in all of South America. Who do you think's gonna win that? Wait a minute, we might have, we might underestimate the power of the Chileans. I could have pushed a province. No. Ah! Yeah, whatever will I do about that? Ha 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 ha. Just the fact that this game doesn't let you take a country you fully defeated a war. What, what world is that a thing? I'm not letting you get away with that bullshit. And no, this is not cheating. This is what was supposed to happen. Okay, well, I was in the midst of all that raging. Uh, our last part of the focus tree opened up. We can do Operation Car Wash. You just see like a game of people running from the side of the strip to your car going, Let me wash car! Ah, and then you just pull out a freaking AK. <laughs> You know, as much as I respect Big Daddy Lula here, or, or I don't know if we're gonna be able to unite all of South America under him. Like, yeah, we got like everybody, except for 
couple tiny nations that refuse to be influenced or like at all. I mean, Venezuela is a good example, but now Paraguay is being a little bitch. Yeah, we're gonna probably have to start doing some right wing stuff. Oh, I guess we can start sending anti-terrorist operations to the Middle East. I think I really have the generosity to do that. I'm just gonna up arrow both of those and pretend they don't exist. Ah, uh, yes. The 2018 presidential elections and, um, March 3rd of 2011. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. Bolsonaro will be the aggressor. Oh, that's not... Oh, I see. We have to we have to upgrade our leader. We got a, we got a garbage leader now, but we can upgrade him to Bolsonaro down the focus tree. Yay, the T pose man is a world wonder. Now everyone can act like an NPC. I mean, what would I pick here? Brazil's heart swells with pride. Or the more based option. I can't wait for the money. Money is love, money is life, money is the only green I see. Ah, uh, thank yes, wool tension. Good. Good, good, good. We can justify a war goal. Um, Venezuela, you have been probably the naughtiest of everybody. <laughs> You're gonna get the broomstick. Okay, so we did the focus where Bolsonaro takes charge, but um that don't look like Bolsonaro. <laughs> Unless he really fell off, like started doing drugs after he failed the election in 2022. Yes, finally. I can I can venge Venezuela for wasting all that political power and precious time of mine. I, I if you couldn't tell, I am done with these people. <laughs> yeah, how's that 48 bombing damage? Yeah, look, even though it's red and it's technically going down, it still jumps up by five like <laughs> things every second. Look at that. Yeah, it's so broken, but you love to see it. It's almost like I'm the United States right now, just bombing the shit out of my enemies. It's it's too brutal. Hey, there we go. Oh, hey, I forgot about that. I didn't even remember I just found Paraguay. Anyway, um, your time to die. Get over here. I don't think I'm even gonna use planes again, so you know, I, I just, I don't think that would be allowed to be put on YouTube if I murdered you that bad. Why is their capital Philadelphia if a kindergartner spelled it? Well, yeah, you're gonna have to give me your Philadelphia. There you go. You know what? I'm just gonna full annex you. I don't like you, Paraguay. Say hello to my new division, Brazil Tank. Yeah, I don't know why it's in a Russian accent, but anyway, uh, look, look at that beefy division, 70 width. The USA is gonna be screaming when they see this thing. Oh, hey, I can change my flag. Wow. I <gasps> the guy's here. Whee! Jesus, dude. This Bolsonaro guy's cracked. We're doing focuses. We're still getting five and a half political power. We can curb stomp any country we wish. Uruguay is next in 20 days. After that, we can probably form South America. We can start inching our way towards Debtland with Theta Barak. Look at this. We got our first Brazilian tank rolling up to the battlefield. Oh, come on. That's not even a fair fight. They don't even have men in there. I got no air in the sky, so that's not bad. How's that even fighting? It's what to say. <laughs> How is that even fighting? And the Chinese war kicked off. My God. This world really is blowing up. Yikes. The coup better freaking work. I swear to God. 70% chance. Okay. Don't tell me it didn't work. What the fuck? Just... It just did it again. I can bet you right now, I, if I could get that successful option to 99% and the game would go, you still can't do it. I guarantee it will. Great, now they put my fucking guy in jail. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. I'm so loving it. Ha ha ha. I'm done. I have had it with you, you fucker. We'll put tanks and we'll put all of our thousand planes on top of your sorry ass airspace. I will bomb you so hard your island doesn't even exist. I can't wait to fucking make you suffer. This is what you wanted, Trinidad. There goes half your population. They don't deserve a name on this earth. Now we can incorporate you into Brazil. Yeah, I mean, it only, it only took till uh, 2014. There we go. Argentina, the last real South American country to be annexed anyway. I don't count Trinidadia. They can go screw themselves. So look at that. Based Argentina. All those South American countries gave me 133 divisions. Jesus, dude. We have a million manpower now, thanks to them. And I haven't even converted all these templates yet. These are, most of these are shaped templates. Jesus Christ, why are there 19? Hey, it's wartime, baby. I, this makes me nervous as hell. <laughs> YOLO. And since there is actually absolutely nobody on this fucking border, we're gonna have to put everybody on aggressive. Hey, we trapped a 
couple of their uh, marine trucks. Okay, they're starting to get a little bit of troops on the border now, like maybe enough to almost block the entire front line. Yeah, so I'm a little worried because like, yeah, I'm pushing, but not easily when there's actually resistance. Like, I don't think my troops are as good as theirs. So yeah, this is not good because we're not pushing easily. But what I'm hoping for is that knowing the AI, they'll be sped. And if I take enough land, they might start demilitarizing, like deleting armies, disbanding. Mexico, what the fuck? We're gonna lose because of Mexico. Oh my fucking god. Call this scummy all you want, but I'm not gonna let some stupid AI blunder ruin this whole video. I got here, I spent 19 years to get here. Yeah, the California front for them is really not gone according to their plan, I imagine. Uh, they're not doing bad in Texas. Uh, they did this invasion again, but like, I actually prepared for the AI to completely blunder its life away, so that didn't get anywhere. Yeah, this is beautiful, bro. This is gotta be- this is probably gonna be the juiciest circle in the entire war, which is kind of sad, but... Gotta take your- Why, man? You're lucky we caught- okay, Mexico technically had it under con- Why did it force retreat them? Finally! Holy shit. Let's go, San Diego. Literally, EU4 siege. How are we losing this? We're in the 90s. Okay, so the US is clearly seeing past the fact this is a mercenary division is still dunking on me anyway. See, why does it take this many fucking people for me to win a single battle? How am I losing this? Okay, it's 85. I am outnumbering them like 5,000 to 1. And we're losing. I don't know, are we shooting ourselves? Or like, are they turning half us against me? Oh no, not the Galapagos. What am I gonna do without my middle school biology project? Oh! Honestly, I, I, I feel, I really feel like there should be a thing in the game where at a certain point, the depth should really like cause conflict in your country. Clearly the US doesn't experience that. They don't have to experience the problems of financial collapses like I do. If I attacked the USA right now, it would start a financial collapse time Clearly, the AI gets special privileges that don't make that happen. Oh, great. They're going all on offensive. And they're, like, winning everywhere. How did they insta win against my troops? They're full orc. How did they die? Hey, can, could you tell me where you get them so I can be OP too? Yeah, I, 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 it doesn't matter no matter how much I outnumber them. They're, they're, just, they're just OP. They win every game. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters to them. They are just immune to any consequence. Basically, this is what you get when you're mentally disabled. Welcome to broken ass Hoy 4 million dawn. Okay, so it's actually the next day now. I, I wanted a day break from that fucking mess. And I am not looking forward to this one bit. One new tank is defeating... Where... I, I wish I could do that. Why do I even try anymore, dude? What is the point? I mean, maybe it's because they have a mainly tank army and I have a bunch of motorized i i don't know and this is just so sad to watch this really is dude i have air superiority i'm doing bomb damage i'm actually destroying their planes but it's not enough i <laughs> i i don't get it oh my god i want a province back unbelievable our low supply of at gems is probably also causing some problems here i i can't imagine why we'd be losing against tanks if we don't have the guns that kill tanks gee if that was a hard as fuck mystery to solve oh hey canada wants to give him thank you canada yeah yeah why what you're giving volunteers to canada but you're you're unleashing both sides of the war <laughs> Canada's just a troll, man. I wish I wish my life was as easy as Canada's right now, but it's not. See, what can I do that to America? I can really nerd on all of Europe's troops, all I care. But when it comes to the US, oh no, we don't know what to do. Yeah, well, I'm here talking about maybe removing some of their tanks. They've already removed half my air force from the sky. They, <laughs> I am go- how are they? They're just auto winning. The game's like, I know you're actually technically winning, but I don't like you. So I'm going to just stop this battle for you. Oh, great. Now France has also landed in Mexico. That's for, oh, so how is Mexico defeating people so easily? If I had that same template, I would get crushed and you know it. I'm going to bet they're going to somehow go God mode and win every battle. And they're just going to steamroll Mexico and completely kill them. It's honestly amazing that no matter what you do to the United States, you can completely tank their economy. They have like like a third of the factories they start with in 2000 their debt is at almost 400 trillion dollars they don't even get they aren't even phased by it dude they they think they, they, to them it doesn't exist clearly it, it just it's frustrating 
Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, that, now I think we are really double fucked. Yeah, th this is awesome. Now we're gonna, like, lose a port in our own continent. Just to add on to the pain that's over here. Like, thank you. I totally needed that. Instead of me suffering here any longer, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave it to you guys. I'm gonna put this save in the description and maybe you can save the game and defeat the united states because maybe you're good at the game and i'm not i i don't know man i i'm not cut out for this i'll see you another time